This Carhartt store behind me used to be Luray Food Shop, and I'm standing right where Leo Roberts stood in this photo. I'm live outside that collapsing building where, as you can see, it is not in very good shape. I'm actually holding a piece of the building that I found near the sidewalk just a few minutes ago. A few things on the checklist. Are they at least four feet wide? Are there clear signals to indicate a crosswalk? Or are there any obstructions? Getting from place to place on a street like Broadway either means you're walking, renting a scooter, or getting a car. But don't be surprised if you start seeing people using pedal pubs to get around instead. Columbia Police Department got the call around 1130 today. Since then, this crime scene behind me has gotten much larger. When police responded to the call, they found two male victims in the apartment's backyard. KOB Bates' Alex Arger talked to her and the bus company about the driver's alleged actions. But first, here's a quick look at what this woman saw. Look at this. We're already at 40, slamming on our brakes. That is one of four videos Kendra Powell sent me of first student bus 70. A state highway patrol trooper is now tasked with watching the bus after Powell's complaints drew concern. Right now, this almost 14 acre lot behind me is just open space, but Terry Wright wants that to change. She wasn't able to talk with me today, but she says her idea, almost two years in the making, is finally coming to a head. Back by this small pond, she wants to create an event center. She says it'll provide the perfect backdrop for all events, including weddings, parties, retreats. She also wants to have outdoor patios and parking for more than 100 cars. And on the corner of New Haven and Olivet, she plans to have rolling acres of lavender fields, hedges, and trees. The venue will be called Summerton, but for it to be built, the acres have to be rezoned from agricultural to planned recreation land. The problem is the property is surrounded by agricultural and residential land land and some of the neighbors aren't happy about the possible changes the event center could bring to the area. I spoke with a few neighbors who say they don't want the area to turn into a social scene. To get more support for Summerton, Wright started this change.org petition. As of today, it has more than 650 signatures. But when a neighbor saw the petition, he started his own against the event center. His has more than 800 signatures. Wright's first attempt to rezone the area was turned down by the Boone County Planning and Zoning Commission in December. But tonight, she's appealing the decision to the Boone County Commission. There will be a public hearing here at 7 to decide if Summerton is right for the neighborhood. In Columbia, I'm Alex Arger, KOMU 8 News. Welcome back. A protest, complaints, and Department of Agriculture inspections. That's what the Callaway Hills Animal Shelter has been hit with recently over concerns about the way the shelter is treating animals. KOMU 8's Alex Arger spoke with the owner about the recent criticism. Animal advocates are focused on how the shelter cared for animals during last week's cold snap. The owner has now closed the shelter until the 25th because she says she is exhausted from the attention. I wish all the dogs that are outside right now being housed had this kind of life. That is one worry of animal advocate Ruth Elledge. Elledge says she has always been a dog lover, and that's why she fights for their welfare. I just have a passion for making sure that animals are well cared for. On Saturday, she joined other advocates outside Callaway Hills Animal Shelter to protest what she says is its mistreatment of animals. 60 plus dogs and 30 plus cats with limited employees to care for them. How can they be cared for properly? They were most worried about the use of outdoor shelters during the cold weather recently, and Elledge says the shelter's rules for who can adopt are too strict. But the owner of the shelter says no dogs were harmed during the weather, but she admits the high number of dogs at the shelter. <laughs> the people that are angry with us are telling people, don't ever take a dog to Callaway Hills. Great, keep that word out there. We don't want people dumping dogs. We don't want to take any more animals. That's not our goal. I mean, we want to take care of the ones that we have here the best we can and find them homes. She says some good applicants that could have taken the dogs have fallen through the cracks. We're not perfect. There's very few of us here, but we make mistakes, we do the best we can, but we don't strive to not adopt animals out. Elledge says the protests and complaints are not to hurt the shelter, but she wants them to work toward getting animals out and into homes. The number one priority is that they need to start reviewing applications for adoption, reduce their numbers so they can care properly for them. 
Weldon says the shelter should have a cap, and she said she doesn't want any of the animals to stay outside. She says they run out of housing because dogs are constantly dumped on them and the animals have nowhere else to go. Advocates like Elledge hope more applicants can start taking the dogs away to make the issue go away. In the studio, Alex Arger, KOMU8. At 10 a.m. Tuesday morning, Leo Roberts thought he was going to just another doctor's appointment. But when his daughter and son-in-law wheeled him into the waiting room... Happy birthday! It's pretty amazing. I don't, in my opinion, I don't think he looks like he's 100. Today, Siler wanted to surprise her dad, so she gathered family... Are you happy that, that Katie and Missy came? Yeah. ...and staff at the VA hospital to celebrate a century of Leo Roberts' life. <laughs> Roberts enlisted in the U.S. Navy on April 26, 1944. His time in World War II ended in 1946, a few weeks after his 25th birthday. You get to have fun! And now... Well, we're waiting for the 101. <laughs> Siler says her dad's time around loud guns in the war cost him much of his hearing. So she showed him this when he came in the room today. She says she wanted the day to be special, like her dad. He's the best dad I could have ever asked for, ever. Um, he's very kind. He's very sweet. He has a very good sense of humor. Um, he's just a good guy all around.